Welcome to my world. A real easy delicious chicken pot pie. I have some leftover rotisserie chicken and I have that onion that I chopped up. We like to buy these at our bulk store BJ's for quick dinner ideas when it's too hot or you're short on time. I'm gonna throw you together this awesome chicken pot pie with just a few ingredients from your pantry shelves. If you're new look for that subscribe word and smash on it. We have a cook with me players list if you are interested. Please check that out. We also have a Dollar Tree dinners players list. Some of these items came from Dollar Tree and some came from Walmart. And the whole chicken came from our BJ's as well as the onion. Let's dive right on into this. I like to try to grab everything I need on hand. I'm going to start with a bowl. I'm going to grab a, a big size bowl here. And we're going to be using this bisquick mix in a completely different way than what you think we're going to do. We're going to drain and rinse your mixed vegetables. It's going to go into the chicken pot pie filling. And I have cream of mushroom soup for that. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Actually, let's make it 375. Grab my pie. Baking dish. Just going to drain and rinse the mixed vegetables. I've been doing Walmart empties videos, like my Dollar Tree empties ones. I'll make sure that goes into the next empties video. We'll be having a new Dollar Tree empties video coming up within the next week. Let that rinse for about a minute. Just on the bowl here. I'm going to open up my door to the side porch here that we use for a store slash jump room. There isn't an attic here. It's a flat roof top of the building. Another great value product. Early next week, we'll have another food pantry haul for your enjoyment. Please check out our food pantry haul players list. All our players lists are linked down below in our description box for your convenience. If any links are broken, please let me know via email or the Facebook page. Dump in all that cream soup. You can hold on to the can. For spices, I'm going to use about Two teaspoons of garlic, salt, and black pepper. That can also be found at the Dollar Tree. It's a really great buy. And then we're going to add in our mixed vegetables. This can be real easy to do. I like simple. Pot pies sound scary, but they're really not. Even if you have a small kitchen, you make an incredible chicken pot pie. Or you can do a beef pot pie or a tuna pot pie. Or you can make a breakfast pot pie. Anything you wish. Mix the vegetables up well. Now we're going to take all the chicken. We're going to shred it off the carcass. And I'm going to freeze the carcass. Because I like to make bone broth soup. During the holidays. And I make my own with bouillon cubes. I'm going to pinch the chicken into bite-sized pieces. There's usually a lot of leftover rotisserie chicken on these bigger birds that we get from our BJ's, which is like a Costco's. I would love a Costco's in my part of New York, but we don't have one. And the Sam's Club, their fees are a little more expensive than BJ's, and BJ's doesn't have any ridiculous fees. So we tend to stick with BJ's.
two to three cups of chicken. If you don't have a rotisserie chicken, you can have chicken breast. You can go ahead and cook that ahead of time. I'm going to save some leftover chicken for my kid to snack on. A lot of chicken. Take all of that mixture, mix it well. If you want to add fresh celery, you could. I added the mixed vegetables, but it has celery pieces in it. This will not go to waste. I have another carcass in my freezer, which will combine both of them and make a big pot of soup. I'm going to take our pie baking dish. I'm going to spray it well. And our onions that we already chopped up ahead of time. Just going to add them in. Take your mixture that we just did. Pour the pot pie. Great way to reuse your rotisserie chicken. It has five days in the refrigerator. And if you don't use it before that, please freeze it and don't waste it. You can shred up the chicken and make burritos and all kinds of delicious chicken dishes. Chicken spaghetti, chicken stew, chicken chili. Now we're going to take this can. I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of water and go around the rim of the pie dish here. Just around the rim. Everything's pre-cooked, so that's wonderful. You can use your frozen vegetables if you wish to. Frozen mixed vegetables will work really well. I like canned because they're already soft. Not a big fan of canned vegetables, but we like canned green beans and canned mixed vegetables and canned lima beans. And now for the biscuit packet. You can use either the buttermilk biscuits or the cheddar biscuits. I like to buy these by two whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to sprinkle this on. I'm going to spread it all around. This is going to go into that 375 degree preheated oven for about 25 to 35 minutes. It'll be different from what the package says because of the fact that it's spread out and not in a biscuit form. I'm going to grab some margarine and we're going to layer some margarine on top of the pie crust here. Go ahead and slice the butter. One whole stick. 
this Imperial I also picked up at our Dollar Tree. You can also freeze these and use them to spread over your cookie sheet. My mom used to do that before butter sprays became a thing. I'm going to pop this into the oven and time it for about 30 minutes and then we'll chuck it after 30. I go a little short so it doesn't burn. Directly into the center of the back is where I like to place things like casseroles and pies. Then we'll come back and check. To peek in, butter pets are melting nicely here. Looking fantastic. Really great, easy way to make a delicious chicken pot pie with rotisserie chicken. Three minutes left on this pot pie, so I'm going to take it out of the oven and test it with a toothpick to see how it's coming along. Right away I can tell by looking at it, it's going to need three to five minutes. It's starting to get all golden brown around the rim of the pot pie. I'm going to time it for another five. We're going to go ahead and check that pot pie. Five minutes expired. And make sure it looks the opposite way, otherwise I get a facial blast. It sounds like rain's coming. It is downpouring. Can you hear that? It is coming down in buckets. Check the biscuit area. Looks like it might need another five minutes. Just keep in mind, since you're not making biscuits, they don't go in for 8 to 10. It's still coming up a little wet, so I'm going to put it back in for 5 more minutes. And looking nice and golden brown. What the chicken pot pie looks like with that rotisserie chicken and uh, the buttermilk biscuit mix. It's going to solid up once it stops bubbling, and it's going to smell so good cooling down along with Whatever you want to serve with a pot pie, the pot pie is like a one pot meal. Everything is in it. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it for really easy, great dinner ideas. A few ingredients from your pantry, from leftovers for round two meal. We do giveaways at every 100 subscribers. We just give away two gift cards and someone already received theirs. How exciting. You must be subscribed and U.S. residents. If you are new, comment and let me know who you are so I know who to call out. Because we do one for a newbie and one for our regulars. If you're interested, we're also looking for 10 people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. The same rules apply. The rules for the giveaways are in the description box down below. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. Go to our Facebook page. Please give it a like. And you can send a message that way if you wish, or join our group, same name as the channel. The links for our social sites are in the description box down below, as well as my email address and players list for your convenience. Thank you everybody for your continuing ongoing support. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching.